Hi everyone, this is Ryan Snapdragon Insider here in Scotland. I'm uh, here in a place called Callander, which is part of the beautiful Loch Lomond and Trussocks region of Stirlingshire. And uh, I'm going to this waterfall just up here called the Brackland Falls here in Callander. Um, this has been on my bucket list, um, but I've just been walking past some people and normally there's a big bridge that allows you to get across the river uh, and it's it's broken so here we are you can see the water down there looks absolutely amazing um, one of the reasons I really wanted to come here is because of the rock formation um, it's really been gorged out so it makes for a really interesting image I think uh, from what I've seen from other people's photos online of this location So let's find a good spot and set up and uh, We'll make sure we'll try a couple of different spots because we always want to try different perspectives To get the best shot we can So if you go into the camera app and go to more and press long exposure on the Xiaomi Mi 11T Pro I have here before I actually select the oil painting you can see here that the water volume is quite large and fast moving so we don't want a long exposure on this because it will create too much noise also I'm going to lower the light exposure of this image because we can always adjust to have uh, more exposure when we're editing the photo and this is the same across a lot of my image work I do so you can see here it's an okay edit I've just made it soft because it was quite a bit of noise this particular location yet again I'm lowering the exposure I'm using my rule of thirds as well to, to line things up to make it look interesting uh, I can do a longer exposure because the water is not as aggressive here and there's my edit I've done with Lightroom for this particular uh, perspective and here, yet again, I'm doing a, a longer exposure with this one purely because there's a lot of colour in the water and I want that to come out. And this part as well, in this different um, location or perspective, using my rule of thirds, you can see the gap kind of meets the, the two rocks. And here, this is not just a long exposure uh, AI feature, this is actually using an ND filter uh, that you can purchase for mobile phones. And I'm going to do this in pro modes at 108 megapixels. And uh, what I'm going to do is try to get roughly about 3 seconds to 4 second exposure. Uh, using the ND filter, uh, which will reduce the amount of light that's coming into the sensor. Uh, because mobile phone sensors generally have a fixed aperture, which is quite large. There's a lot of light coming in. So now I've opened the image in Lightroom. I'm going to crop the image. I think for this particular uh, image itself, I'm going to change it to the Instagram 1x1 one one aspect ratio. So I'm going to save that. Then I'm going to choose light. I'm going to change the exposure slightly, not by much. I'm bringing the contrast down because there's too much detail. We can change the detail on this. I'm also going to bring highlights down, which is the kind of white and the distortion of the, uh, the water. Um, you'll see on the surface of the water itself. Um, I'm going to tend to bring shadows up and the darkness up slightly here and this will allow you to see the color that's uh, beneath the water surface. So I'm going to bring the blacks up slightly here and then you can kind of see that color coming through the water itself. And then I'm just going to bring vibrancy up just a touch and uh, the next thing I'll do is in order to choose and change colors I tend to press on the mixed option that you can see up there and then I press on the wee circle and arrow and uh, I can actually select on the screen uh, a colour by touching it and scrolling up and down. You'll see saturation, you've got illumination and you've got U as well too. So what I tend to do is I change the saturation, I tend to then select hue to change the tone of the colour. Uh, just to what my eye suits um, and then the illumination is obviously how bright that color is um, how much you want to bring up the lightness of it um, so that's that's basically what I tend to do it is obviously subjective to your 
your own taste and your own opinion um, I can't say this is what every other photographer does or how they use Lightroom but this is what I tend to do but now I'm going to select the effects option Dazzle will bring down the light that is splashing off the water but be aware that this actually increases saturation sometimes then I go to clarity I can either make it more detailed or make the image softer with clarity but now I'm actually going to choose the masking option uh, because I don't like the details of the actual waterfall in the middle of the image So I'm actually going to choose paintbrush and then use my finger to select the area that I want to specifically change uh, This will only change this area within the image um, And I'm just going to basically look at how I can change the details the lights um, as well as the shadows and the blacks on this and also the saturation as well because there is color in the water uh, a lot of water you tend to find blue and green sometimes coming through um, so sometimes I turn down the saturation so it's uh, a little bit more white or moving towards black and white uh, this kind of helps uh, bring up the details of the image sometimes so here is the edited image. If you have any suggestions or would like me to change anything, please let me know in the comments. So there you have it. That's my wee trip in the Bracklin Falls up here in Calendar in Scotland. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got something useful out of it. So thanks uh, for joining me with my waterfall hunting. So let's head back. Head back to the car and go pick up the kids.